Commander Hawkins, sir. Good to see you, Dalton. I'll get right to the point. Your request for reinstatement in the Marines has been denied. Again. I know you're disappointed, but we can try again in six months. Can I bucket up the line? I spoke with General Drexler personally. It was no go. Damn. When you return to your ship, you'll have a new pilot. He's a Hexcore alien named Naban. We got him in an officer exchange program. He's some kind of muckety-muck on his home planet, and the brass want him kept out of harm's way. You've got the quietest patrol, so you're it. I'm getting mighty tired of babysitting the ass end of nowhere. The Colonial Authority isn't so bad, John. We don't see as much action as the Marines, but our tradition of service is just as strong. Save it for the recruits, sir. I know the score. Stow it, Dalton. We've got a new refresher course set up in the basement. Either give it a run or get back to your ship. Dismissed. Do you want to take the training run, or get back to your ship? I could use a refresher. All right. Dismissed. Huh? How you doing, Marshal? I heard you'd be here. Let me reboot the system. Name's Raph. I'll take you through the program. All set. Go on in. Hello again and welcome to the Avalon Training Center. The course is lined with holo projectors, so I'll be with you all the way. Now wait a second while I take a scan. Sensors indicate you're wearing XAF power armor. Let me dig up those specs. Ah, here. Not bad. The XAF series isn't the toughest battle armor available, but it's pretty damn versatile. Underwater capable, rechargeable shields, plasma heads-up display. Score one for the good old Terran Colonial Authority. Let's take a look at your HUD. Health and shield indicators are in the upper left. Ammo indicators are upper right. The top counts down your current clip. Underneath is the amount you have in reserve. Available weapons show up down the right. Your suit also scans for important objects like switches and panels, even people. Come over and look at me to activate the use reticle, then hit your use control. Using someone will get their attention so you can talk to them. 
Sometimes your suit will give you numbered options of things to say. Go ahead, pick a number. Why am I talking to a hologram? Who knows? My mother talks to a cat. Let's keep moving. Next up is agility training. Go use the button next to the exit. While you're on the obstacle course, you'll hear me through your suit's radio. It's a good unit with excellent range that even extends off planet if the signal's strong enough. Stand by while I configure the course for your suit. Let's start with something simple. Jump over these blocks. Not bad, but not every jump is so easy. If you jump straight up and don't stop, you'll drag yourself onto that ledge. It's called mantling. Give it a try. <laughs> Alright, now crouch down and crawl under these blocks. And don't worry, I won't let them drop any further. Great! Go through that door. It's time for the good stuff. Weapons. Let's start with every rookie's first gun, the dispersion pistol. Go ahead, grab it. Not a very realistic target. Sorry, it's been an epic wait for the tech upgrade. Take a couple practice shots. The dispersion pistol doesn't pack a whole lot of punch, but it's always there for you because it never goes out of ammo. Give the alternative fire a try. It builds up a charge and then releases a bigger blast. He never knew what hit him. Enough of the pop gun, let's take a look at a real weapon. Combat assault rifle is a marshal's best friend. Load it up with ammo and mow down this dangerous. The car's primary fire mode is fully automatic, and it goes through rounds of uranium shards like candy. While you're firing, watch the upper right of your HUD to see the ammo drain from the current clip. Always try to find a quiet moment to reload before combat. Otherwise, you may find yourself caught having to reload in the middle of a firefight. The car's ult fire is a concentrated bolt of five shards that breaks up on impact and will even bounce off walls. See if you can ricochet a bolt against the wall and hit the target. Catch on quick. This next weapon isn't standard issue, but what the hell? Sometimes you just gotta have. No weapon is more versatile and dangerous than the grenade launcher. It holds up to six different types of ammo, and each has radically different uses. The standard is your basic fragmentation grenade. Use a few to blast away at these little guys. Notice the tapping your primary fire makes the grenades explode on contact. If you're aiming on the run, hit something near your enemy and he'll feel it. Holding down the trigger on the primary fire engages the timing mechanism, so you can bounce the grenades around some before they explode. Use your alt fire to switch between grenade types. The crosshair on your HUD will tell you which one is chambered. I've given you some incendiary grenades, so load them up and prepare for a show.
You're a natural, Dalton. Hey, I need to test some new features I just loaded. How about you and I go one on one? Here's how it works. I play as a holo and my weapons are holographic too, but they'll register on your armor as we hit. If you die, you go back to full health and shields, but I score a point. If I die, you get a point. Whoever gets the five first, wins. If you get a kill, be sure to run over my holo corpse so your power armor absorbs any remaining energy and applies it to your shields. If you want to bail at any time, just push the button next to the exit and go on through. One last word of advice. Load up on ammo before you go in. Anytime you're ready. Bring it, Dalton. Maybe next time. Good enough. Come on through the exit. Recharge your health and shields. Just step inside each station and they'll work automatically. Oh, that was great. Can't remember when I've had such a blast. You know, if I put two flags in there, I could sell tickets, maybe get someone to sponsor a tournament. Those guys over at Leandre have more money than brains. Hmm. Good luck, Marshal. Go keep the frontier safe.
First Officer Ida returning command of the ship to you, sir. Ship's engineer Isaac is standing by on the upper deck, and ship's pilot Nabon has the con. What's with all the ranks and titles? Prolonged exposure to brass usually makes you revert to your primitive military state. Just trying to make you feel at home, sir. What's our status? While you were docking, we received a distress call from the Alara Star System. We're already en route. Would you like to take an inspection tour of the ship and meet our new pilot, or go right to the briefing room for the mission? We've got plenty of time. Let's take a look around. Okay. Let's begin right here in the drop room. We need a new airlock unit, but the Quartermaster on Avalon didn't have any, as usual. We've ordered a new one for our next visit. I'll wait for you outside the briefing room. We took advantage of the layover to upgrade the holo projector in the briefing room. I'll wait here while you take a look around. Welcome back, boss. You want to inspect the upper deck? Might as well. What do you got? Your quarters haven't been disturbed. We've put Naban in the other port cabin, but his gear is still in the hold, so there's nothing to see yet. Let's look at the starboard berths instead. Ida's cabin. Spotless, as usual, I'm sure. I'll wait here. Moving on. And the idiots in supply still haven't sent up any spare transducers. How they expect me to keep this bucket of bolts airborne is beyond me. I've redecorated my cabin. Early provincial. Hope you like it. Next up is the bridge. I tell you, being on the butt end of the food chain really sucks. If we were a marine ship, we wouldn't have to wait around for parts. I'm making a new art form out of scrounging. I guess the biggest change to the bridge is our new pilot. I'll let you introduce yourself. By the way, I picked up some new ordnance on Avalon. Let's go over it after Ida's briefing. See ya. Hello, Marshal, sir. I am saluting you. It is many pleasures to be buttling with you aboard this fine ship. Buttling? Buttling. Waiting upon. No. Serving. I am seeing many pleasures serving with you. And I am saluting you again. No need to salute, Naban. It's an informal ship. Why don't you just settle in here and I'll catch up with you later. Aye, 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 sir. Settling in is now my top priorities.
As you requested, we converted the storage room to a weapons locker. Isaac will now do your weapon loadouts here. Presuming he's sober. Oh, did I say that out loud? Not drunk again. Well, no. Actually. But you know, it's only a matter of time. Anyway, he's waiting for you on the upper deck to complete the inspection. I'll go prepare the briefing. A little smoke ain't gonna hurt us. If it starts shooting sparks, then we got trouble. Ready for the briefing? Fire when ready. We're headed for Sanctuary, the fifth planet in the Alara system. It's an Earth-style world with a dense jungle covering. It's currently uninhabited except for a Leandri mining operation. A few hours ago, I received the following distress call. Mayday, mayday! This is the Leandri Station Lima 6 on Sanctuary. We're in trouble down here. The facility has been overrun by hostile aliens. We don't know what the hell they are or where they came from. Multiple casualties, please assist. That's it. We don't know who is attacking them or why. Let's look at the main base in the Hola Tank. The Leandri complex has two components. The ore processing unit grinds up the rocks and extracts precious minerals. Unfortunately, we don't have any blueprints of the interior. They've cleared away the jungle and separated the power plant from the main facility by a few hundred yards. This huge generator provides juice for the heavy rock crushing equipment. Here is the nearest entrance from your drop point. Good luck down there. Isaac should be waiting across the hall to do your weapons loadout. If not, you'll probably find him in his cabin sleeping one off. I'll be right here if you have any further questions. I liberated a grenade launcher and a few frag grenades from a depot on Avalon. You want to take a look? Or how about we brush up on your other weapons? See you later. Take your pick. Let me see the car. The M32 Duster fires depleted uranium shards that don't have shells, but build up a nasty dust that gets ejected between clips. Primary fire spits out rounds at a very high automatic rate. Alt fire is a cluster of five shards packed together to form a single slower moving slug. The slug breaks apart when it hits a wall, so if you're good, you can even shoot around corners. Very effective overall. 
You can hose down an area with primary fire or deliver a single lethal punch with the alt fire. Anything else? How about the pistol? The T-13 pop gun is your standard law enforcement sidearm. Doesn't need ammo. Recharges from a quantum pack in the handle. Primary fire is a slow-moving energy pulse. Alt fire charges up a stronger pulse until you release it. A dependable fallback weapon, but not much use in a crowd. What'll it be? Let's go over the Hydra. The M406 grenade launcher has slots for six different grenade types. Tapping your primary fire lobs out a grenade that explodes on contact. Holding the trigger a little longer engages the timing mechanism so you can bounce them around some. Secondary fire chambers the next grenade type if you've got any. If you like, I can tell you about the individual grenades. Any others? Tell me about the frag grenade. Enormous explosive power and needle-sharp carbo-steel fragments. Absolutely lethal in close quarters. You want to look at any of the other weapons? See you later. Pick your poison. See you later. Yes? Anything else? Nope. Either talk to Isaac or hit the dropship. Your choice. Thanks. mother. Look, I'm not kidding. I don't want to have to come down there and save your sorry ass. Relax, I'm sure the natives are friendly.
my god! Help me! Is the system two-way? Can you hear me? Don't bother talking back. The system's only one way. I won't hear you. Glad we cleared that up. Boy, am I glad to see you. TCA, wow! I wasn't sure anyone got my distress call. I'm Danny Miller, level one technician. I hope you're here to rescue me, because there's no way I'm getting out on my own. Everyone I see on the security cameras is dead. I'm barricaded in a security office over in the generator building. You'll have to go through the collection plant to get here, though. Hmm. The main route is blocked. Hold on, I'll open the hatches to the runoff basin. It's a short swim. There's a camera on the other side, so I'll see you when you come up. Jesus, John. Were we ever that green? Fine. You ever heard the expression, blood is thicker than water? Well, it's true.
A lot of that stuff is unstable. A stray shot might set it off.
can't see if anything's in there. Be careful, okay? Your guidebook lists this as a vacation spot for Scar. He's probably checking up on his Aryan grunts. I don't like this huh? job. track you outside, but I'll pick you up again when you get close to the generator building. See you soon, sir.
the area yet. Stay put! Damn kid's gonna get himself killed. No! No! Leave me alone! Stay away! Get back! Uh, uh, uh. Emergency shutdown in three, two, one. <laughs> Emergency shutdown complete. Pull out. Negative. Your job's done. Fighting Scar isn't in the mission profile. That kid just died to keep the artifact from the Scar. You think I'm gonna just walk away? Get me down there. I'm going, whether you help me or not. Damn! Go to the control room and power up the generator. And you better hope they kill you, because if they don't, I will.
main terminal online. Foreign object detected in general. Analyzing. Alien life form detected in general. To terminate shutdown and restart general, press override button. Startup sequence engaged. Retracting shield. Generator now online. If you're going down there, be careful. I decrypted a scar intercept that says they want that thing pretty bad. The artifact, whatever it is, looks alien. Really old. I called the HQ and they went ape. A speed ship of Marines is on the way to collect it. Get to the surface and hunker down till they get there.
should have been a Marine. Don't get me started. That the artifact? Doesn't look like much. Must be important to someone, though. Okay. We'll take it from here. Take care flying out. The area is still plenty hot. Will do. Semper Fi. What's up, Ida? We got more trouble down there. Pals were shot down before they reached escape velocity. Their ship crashed in a forest on the far side of the planet. They've still got the artifact. They've set up a perimeter and will hold position until you arrive. guide you to the crash site. The indigenous creature shouldn't give you any trouble, but somebody shot that ship down. Whoever did is probably still around. Go get the Marines and you'll move to a clearing big enough to set the Atlantis down. I'll see you soon. Roger. <laughs> 